Okay, two sevens plus one fifth. Uh, what stops us from adding these together is they've got different denominators. So we've got to find the lowest common multiple. So I'm going to list the multiples of five, which is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Keep going. But I've stopped at 35. Seven up, it's uh, seven, 14, 21, 28, uh, 35. Uh, fives in both. So I'm going to rewrite these over 35. Uh, to get to 7 to 35, I times it by 5 and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll times 2 by 5 to make it 10. 5 times 7 is 35. And if you want your test, you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we've got times top by 7. Now my denominators are the same. So I keep the denominator the same, which is 35. And 10 plus 7 is 17. Okay. Next question. 1 and 2 thirds divided by 3 quarters. Now this one and two thirds confuses us. In every situation, I'll turn changes to a top heavy fraction. So if you think of, so you do one times three, which is three, and add the two, which is five, which makes it five over three. The other way you can think about this is this one is the same as three thirds, and three plus two is five. I'm going to divide three quarters. Now it's a bit easier to, to deal with this. Uh, when you're dealing with um, dividing fractions, you keep the first one. To keep it as five thirds, you flip the side, the second one, which make it four thirds, and you change the sign. Okay, now it's just top by top, bottom by bottom. Don't be confused with adding, where we keep it denominator the same. Three times three is nine. Uh, five times four is twenty. Okay, now this is an acceptable answer. But if you wanted to uh, change it to a mixed number, you say how many times does nine go into twenty, which is two over nine. Uh, because 2 times 9 is 18, 19, 20 means you've got to remain to 2. So it's 2 and 2 ninths, both answers are the same.